What is laser? Laser is light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Basic principle of laser. The basic principle of laser is same for each type of laser. There are three key processes, which is spontaneous emission, photon absorption, and stimulated emission. Absorption of radiation. Absorption of radiation is the process by which electrons in the ground state absorb energy from photon to jump into the higher energy level. Spontaneous emission. Spontaneous emission is the process by which electrons in the excited state return to the ground state by emitting photons. Emission. In stimulated emission, the light energy is supplied directly to the excited electron instead of supplying light energy to the ground state electrons. Stimulated emission is the process by which incident photon interacts with the excited electron and forces it to return to the ground state. What is heterostructure? Heterostructure is a structure of a semiconductor device that consists more than one material combined in a device. There are three types of structure, which is homostructure, single heterostructure, and double heterostructure. Double heterostructure. Double heterostructure is the basic structure that builds up the laser. The advantage of the double heterostructure laser is that the active region is confined to a thin layer which gives better optical amplification. What is double heterostructure? Double heterostructure is two junction between different semiconductor materials with different band gap. It is sandwiched between two layers of higher band gap. Based on this figure, the gallium arsenide has lower band gap, so there will be higher refracting index. While for aluminium gallium arsenide has higher band gap, the refracting index is low. Next, we will move to radiation pattern. The double heterojunction laser has two junction, which are between two different band gap semiconductor which is the gallium arsenide and aluminium gallium arsenide. Here, you can find the majority and minority carriers in the active region and not only that the active region has a larger refractive index, which means that we can confine the light here. So, the key fortune of this type of laser is that we get carrier confinement in the active region due to the band is content continuities. This leads to fabulous performance. The far field radiation pattern is the variation of emitted light intensity with angle far from the front surface of the laser as in the figure. The radiation pattern of the double heterostructure laser diode 
is obtained by plotting profiles of constant intensity. We move to the structure of heterojunction laser. The figure in the left shows that the two junctions between two different band gap semiconductor and it shows the simplified energy band diagram which is the large forward bias and the C and D show the lower refractive index and the provide lateral optical confinement. A typical structure of a double heterostructure laser diode is similar to a double heterostructure LED. It consists of the top layers that are grown efficiently on a crystalline substrate. It consists of the first layer substrate and there is an additional P-gas layer called contacting layer. Lastly, the application of double heterostructure laser. First, solar cells. It is used in space and terrestrial. As shown in the figure, it is space station mirror equipped with the heterostructure solar cell in the space. Next, telecommunication. It is used in optical fiber communication and also used in the television and satellite. The double heterostructure laser also used in automobile engine which using the photovoltaic thermal concept. And for the other applications, the double heterostructure laser also used in high efficiently LEDs, bipolar wide gap transistors, refrigeration and high power diodes and tyristors. That's all from us, thank you.